as you meet people and realize they have an incredible story that you can share and will help inspire so many other people. And Miriam Zims is one of those people. I recently connected with her because of a previous segment we did on the Gasparilla Festival of the Arts. Several years ago, her life took a 180 degree turn. She fought and beat two types of cancer, but now she's thriving. And a big part of that is because she discovered a hidden talent while going through treatment and recovery at Moffitt Cancer Center. For about 22 years, I was a consultant and working in the solid waste management industry. And then her whole life started to change. I had a health issue come up, which was uh, breast cancer. But I had a second uh, cancer three years later, a second unrelated, and that one uh, was a biggie. It was at that moment. I was told I was gonna have um, my left pelvis removed and rebuilt. Miriam's extremely active lifestyle. I cannot dance anymore and I was actually a very good dancer. Came to a grinding halt. It was going to require that I spend a lot of time flat and in bed recovering. We're in the Arts and Medicine studio. Amanda Bonanno is the Arts and Medicine Coordinator at Moffitt. Art for healing and self-discovery. She explains the program does not have set goals. It's really about letting go of control. It's 100% focused on the process versus the product. It allows people to kind of relax into what they're doing. Kristen is one of the artists in residence. Times that may be very anxious for patients, they're able to kind of unplug and go to a space that's um, more relaxing. Back to Miriam now, who was going through her second cancer treatment at Moffitt. Her doctor suggested this program. I tried it, I didn't like it, and they said, well, just try it again, and so I did. And lo and behold, I created like 300 pieces. Miriam Zims is a perfect example of somebody who came in here and um, started on one thing and one thing kind of led to another and then um, she's just taken off with it. And my husband said, wow, Miriam, you're really talented. I'm like, oh, he loves me. <laughs> What started as a way to relax. It just evolved into um, a new life for me. Turned into gallery shows and teaching in the community. That has given me a new purpose. And a whole new career when her old one was no longer an option. It's helped me, I feel, to really manifest out feelings and put it into pen and paper and ink and, and get it out of me. I enjoy drawing patterns. Um, there's something about that rhythm, that rhythmic flow of drawing repetition that for me slows my mind down. Miriam is now nine years cancer free and preaching the message, feel, act, speak, saying early detection for diseases like cancer is key. I prefer the word thrive and I like to say campione de la vida. I feel like I'm a, a champion of life. Miriam really is thriving, such an inspirational story. And the Arts and Medicine Studio at Moffitt is open Monday through Friday. An artist is always there to help and they'll also bring the cart around to different patients. I put more information on that program on our website, abcactionnews.com. Just look for this article on our homepage.